a decision whether to overturn hate crime convictions of the three men who murdered Ahmaud Arbery rests in the hands of a U.S. appeals judge. Thanks so much for joining us today. For Fox 5 News at 4, I'm Christine Spiro. Attorneys for Greg McMichael, Travis McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan say there wasn't enough evidence to support a conviction. Fox 5's Eric Perry is live in downtown Atlanta outside the appeals court with the latest on the case. Eric. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. It was standing room only inside the courtroom as supporters for the Arbery family say not only is this ridiculous, but they say it's offensive as well. 100% Outside the U.S. Appeals Court Wednesday, Ahmaud Arbery's name could be heard chanted on the streets of Atlanta. This as three men, Greg McMichael, Travis McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan work to overturn their federal hate crime convictions. Defense attorneys argue evidence of past racist comments they made did not prove a racist intent to harm. The three men were convicted of killing the unarmed black man who was out for a jog in a neighborhood back in 2020. It's a trial that's garnered national attention. Supporters for the Arbery family say they believe the judges will be on their side when a decision is handed down. As a father, we stand here not with any title, not as a lawyer, but we stand father to father, right. black man to black man. What happened to Maude is everybody's problem. Right. But when you look at a video like that, you think you're looking at some 1800 movie. Right. My mind. This 2020 now, 2024. We got to bring changes. Keep us lifted in prayer that they come back with a guilty verdict and those like Michaels and Brian stay where they need to be at because they no other family deserve to go through what we're going through right now. Many say the defendants lack of remorse and fight for an appeal is a slap in their face. When you know you done wrong. Come on. Oh, you don't keep talking about your innocence. That's right. That's right. Come on. You know, so that's what hurts him. That's mm -hmm. right. That's what we find so repugnant. Mm -hmm. And I, as long as I'm alive, me and my family, we're going to fight. Yeah, back out here live, you really could just feel a lot of the emotions that's there. Who you did not hear from is Miss Wanda Cooper, who is Ahmaud Arbery's mom. She was inside the courtroom, but she left soon after saying that it was just too much to have to relive and talk with people about. So even if this appeals decision comes back and this conviction is appeals, the three defendants here will still remain behind bars as they still face state murder charges. They are working to have that decision appeals on the state level. It'll go before a judge in June. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and bring you an update as soon as a decision is handed down. In downtown Atlanta, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. Yeah, we will be watching for that decision for sure. Eric, thanks so much.